even put my gas by myself. Put on my shoes? Who? Because I look too good to be doing any work. <laughs> Well, hello there. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Kyra Sean. Today's video is brought to you by Curly Me Hair. They sent me another unit to try for you guys. Now, before we get into this beginner-friendly glueless wig install, y'all know how I'm coming with the curly wigs. Make sure if you're new to the channel, you go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you wanna see more videos like this in the future. Let's go. Okay, so like I said, this unit comes to us from Curly Me Hair. All the specs for my unit are right here on the screen, so if you wanna check it out, you can. This is another pre-cut wig, so it should be easy to style. I feel like they bleached the knots as well. The knots look really bleached, or they're just really small. Either way, it looks good though, so I'm here for that. What I'm not here for is the smell. This wig has a... <laughs> a stench that I'm not used to when it comes to wigs. It smells like smoke and chemicals. I don't know what that smell is, Curly Me. I know y'all be in my comments, so if you wanna go ahead and drop down the comments real quick and let us know what that smell is, if it's the processing of the hair or whatever, let me know. I wasn't ready for that smell to hit me right in the face, so I washed it a few times. I used my wig shampoo and my detangler spray, and then I even went on top of it with my dry shampoo because the smell was still lingering after like three washes. And uh, we ready now. Let's go ahead and move on to the install of this wig. I don't, nah, I'm, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna use my 360 mocha powder around my hairline. I'm not too worried about it in the part in space because I'm leaving this hair in the middle part. This is my third curly me wig and I have learned that the lace on these wigs, you have to work with it. You gotta conceal it, contour it, use your lace tint spray, melt it down with your even spray, got to be, whatever you gotta do to get your lace together. Put this wig on, see how this one is fitting. Okay, let's see where I wanna go. I wanna go this way. This is definitely a little bit longer than I expected. Looking at this hairline, I do have a little extra lace right over here, so I'm gonna cut that off. Normally when you have too much lace on your wig, it's definitely gonna show whether you blend it down or not. So I'm just gonna cut off what I don't need. Right up in there. What about in the front? Let's see. Mm, maybe I can do a little. Let's get that out. This is still looking a little a little iffy, let's cut that. Okay, y'all see how it looks better already? There's not a harsh line across there because I cut off the lace that I didn't need. I hope y'all can see that because I can see it and that made a huge difference. This is really long. Let me see my packaging. Afro curly, yeah, 20 inch. It says stretch length is 20 inches. Right there, stretch, 20 inches. That just seems really long. Or the other brands are not really sending me 20 inches. <laughs> Let me take note of that. Mm -hmm. For this to be their kinky curly texture, it does seem a little loose. But hopefully after I put my products on it and diffuse it, it'll kind of fluff up and shape the way that I want it to. I'm gonna use my Nairobi mousse first. I'm gonna use that around my hairline to mold it down. As I tell y'all all the time, this is not glue. It is a mold. You're just molding your hairline, that's it. This is also the time to do your little swishies if you want, which I will do. I'm just swirling those hairs and I will use those to one, look a little bit more natural for me because I don't like that push back look all the time and two, cover any lace imperfections that may be on the wig. I know some people don't like baby hairs or whatever. I don't really care what you like. <laughs> Cause you don't have to wear them on your wig. You wear your wig how you want. Go on about your business. Clip up this hair in the back. They did send me a band. Ooh, this one is brown. The last Gucci band they sent me was black. So I like the brown too. All right, so I'm gonna use my two products again. I already did this one side. So it's not gonna take that long. Use Nairobi mousse first. Put that all over the hair. You wanna saturate the hair. Your hair should already be damp from the wash because like I said, you will want to wash this wig so you won't have to use as much product, but you still gotta use enough to make sure your hair is all saturated, okay? Use my Felicia Leatherwood Detangler Brush. You can use whatever brush you have. However, if you want your hair to look like mine or similar to mine, you gotta use the products that I use. That recoil is nice, I like that. I do wish there were more layers in here. I mean, it's like one short layer here in the front, but not much. I'll try to fluff it a little bit more kind of give it some height around there. Now I'm gonna use a quarter size amount of my Dark and Lovely Curl Glaze. Work that into the hair. These are the same two products I've been using on my curly wigs lately. And they have been coming out oh so lovely. Okay, oh so lovely. Make sure I clump the curls, clump the roots as well, because I want some lift up there, especially with this being a middle part. Clump, clump, clump. Almost done. Keep on clumping before I start scrunching. <laughs> 
I could have been on the BET Awards. Some of the pieces are a little bit longer. I don't know if those are gonna clump up. Might have to cut those off. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and clip the front up right here, do my five minute makeup, and then we'll come back, diffuse the hair, fluff it out, and see how this wig is sitting. So this is the hair pretty much dried down. It's a little damp in there, but I ain't gonna worry about that too much because I'm gonna blow through the hair in a second. I don't think I'm gonna pick this unit. I think I may leave her as she is and just kind of blow dry it a little bit more to kind of fluff it up that way. We're gonna see when I take this band off how she's looking. Ooh, nice. Curly Me is really on point with these hairlines. I can't complain about that. Okay, I do need to scrunch up my roots just a little bit because I don't want them to be that straight. Scrunch the hair up a little bit more. And I'm gonna use my blow dryer on cool and high and blow through the rest of the hair to kind of dry it down. Before I do that, let me make sure, there's my lace right there. Let me do a little, a little bit of excess contour right up in here. Not too much, just, just a little dusting. I think I need a little more. Hold on, let me put this, let me put that down. Right up in there like so there we go now let me blow through the hair so high and cool so now we are dry down bring the hair to the front the hair is a little uneven in some places like this little piece right here cut that off i don't want to pick it I kind of want to leave it how she is. For the final touch, I'm going to use my Simply Styling Silk Spray because I still smell a little bit of stankness in my wig. So I'm going to go ahead and just spray it, give it a good smell and a little bit of shine, to be honest. I use this spray on my synthetic wigs when they start to tangle up. And I use it on my human hair wigs when they got a little funkiness to them or if they seem a little dull. It gives it like a good little healthy shine. So yeah, I like that. Okay y'all, so this end result is gorgeous. The curls came out so pretty, the hair is soft. The only con, and I'm not even gonna say a preference because I think everybody will feel the way I feel, is the smell. The smell of this wig is very off-putting. It kind of takes you a bit to kind of gather yourself. It may just be my wig, it could have been the packaging or whatever. So Curly Me, if you wanna work on that or figure out what's going on with that, that'll be fantastic. It is a pre-cut, pre-plucked, kinky curly unit that I'm pretty sure has bleach knots. Like I said, they look bleached to me. This looks good. When I step outside, you may see my lace, but that's why I tell y'all every single time, blend your lace in front of natural light or just step outside in the sun and do it real quick. And make sure you're looking up and down to make sure you're getting all around that lace. If you don't have makeup, but you have tint spray, use that. If you want more of a melt to then blend, go ahead and spray your wig down with your even spray and then go on top with your makeup or your tint spray or you know whatever you use to conceal your lace and you should be good to go. Let me come up close so y'all can see how this lace is looking. Ooh, I'm a little ashy right there. I didn't even notice that. Hold up, I'm gonna use my, um, my three, 60 mocha powder. Now if I would've put it all over my lace, I wouldn't have to do that. So I'm not too worried about it in the parting space. Maybe next time I'll listen to myself. <laughs> so up close and personal, that is my wig cap back there. But that is how we are looking, y'all. She looks gorgeous. I like rocking my wigs glueless because I don't want that much commitment. I want to be able to snatch my wig off when I'm done and that's it. It's giving very much everyday slay. The first one I tried was their Mongolian Kinky Curly and this one is supposed to be their Afro Kinky Curly. I'm not really getting Afro Kinky Curly. These curls are definitely tighter and it does fluff up a lot more. As this one dries down it will get a little bigger but not by much unless you go in and kind of pick through the hair. And I don't have no tension around my hairline so I would say the cap on this one is big head friendly. Now remember it's a closure wig okay so it's not going to have any 
edges or sides on the wig. Make sure you understand that when you try to, you know, style your wigs or whatever. I could definitely pull this up into a ponytail. I do have a video of me putting my closure wig into a ponytail, so if you wanna check that out, you can definitely do that. So for this wig, you had to wash, define, diffuse, and fluff. Those four things will get your wigs like this, using the products that I use. And make sure you understand that diffusing the hair takes time, like 10 to 30 minutes, depending on how you want your wig to look. I just feel vacation ready. I really do. This is cute. Look at the hair. Like, soft girl. Like, I can't even put my gas by myself. Put on my shoes? Who? Because I look too good to be doing any work. Depending on how your funds are looking, because, you know, summer has been good to us. You may need to go ahead and call up Daddy Papa. Ain't no shame in the game. It's a game for a reason, player. So go ahead and call him up and get your funds in a row, because you may want to give this one a go. Yes, ma'am. Shout out one more time to Curly Me Hair for sending me this unit. I really appreciate it. I will put the direct link, my specs, and the coupon codes for this unit down below. So if you guys want to check it out, you can. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Also, smash the notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. I love you guys so much, and I will see you next time. Bye.